This morning's escapade is from Glenroy. It's a beautiful, crisp, sunny morning. Last couple of days of January. Hello, bloody Louia. It's been a crap month. We've got permission to do a few uh, Thaltons on this little patch of land. There's quite a few to see, actually. Valley there. Are we doing them today? No, not today. Oh. That's a close-up of them. Those ruins are quite... Well, the house is quite a huge house anyway. I so said we're going to definitely do that one later in the year. Just across the hillside there's a place called Clay Clack. And I did a video on that a few months ago. Check it out on YouTube. And as I said, that there's a little place up there is called Clay Clack. There's a home of a guy called Tom Alone. Ran everywhere. I think it was so far, my love. Um, I've actually already been here. Don't want to hear that. Uh, and I don't think it was private land because it's a public footpath from the bottom up. I walked up it years ago. Oh, the, the path is public. Yeah, and then I've only just remembered now where we're going. Hard, hard Willy. Hard Wally or Hard Willy. Hard Wally. Um, but no doubt we, we may be wrong. Some will pour us right, I'm sure. I had a look at it as I was walking up this way, because you do that, don't you? And you then do. I found those quartz stones and stuff. That was good. It's farmed, all this area is farmed by the Corlett family. And like most of Manx farmers, they're very good to let me do the video of these places. Ooh. Got the dogs with us. There's no sheep around at the moment. They don't bother them anyway. As I said, this road was rumoured to be called Old Nobles Road. And the ruins well looking for us on the right hand side of the road. Quite a way down. They overlook the old uh, Glenroy mine workings. See, I never seen them when I came. Didn't you? I don't think I did. The only other man workings that I've seen is those ones, um, Northern Laxey ones. Oh, that's right up uh, just outside Mackle. Uh, yeah, near there. So is that hill there called Slumina? Slumeal, is it? Slumeal, that's it. I one, think yeah. so, yeah. Or just around the corner. Or around the hill, should I say. It's a hard road on the old feet. But it's well worth doing it. This would have been the main road from um, Kirk Michael and Sulby to Laxey at one time. They didn't go around bends, these folks. They walked as straight as they could. Very popular with the motorbike boys, as, as you'd expect. I suppose another name for this would be the Rocky Road, because it is rocky. Nearly there. A few folks have been following us. We did a little snack chatter a couple of weeks ago, which we just released on YouTube a few days ago. Telling you what we're hoping to get done in the year. As I say, we've now got 70 videos on YouTube. The Alan Man. Folks are very kind to comment nicely to him about them. Carl's got a new coat on today. I've come out of my big coat. She Ray keeps taking the mick out of me because I ordered it and it's too big. Amazon said I'm a medium and I knew I was a small, but I thought, no, no, I'll trust you, Amazon. Well, that'll um, teach you. Yeah, now I've got this my big coat. We could both get in this. Well, we'll try later. <laughs> and I then my oversized scarf as well. I'm having their body size issues. 
I'm just wondering where you kept the tent poles, to be fair. <laughs> well, yeah, Amazon, you know, by definition, it would be big, wouldn't it? Huh. I think they're going by dresses that I've bought. But this is a coat, not a dress. Yeah, I've never had that problem with mine. No? Gosh, that quartz really stands out. Can you see it now? Yeah, it'd be a marker, wouldn't it? It's amazing, there's, there's two there, two you know, big stones. All these little paths are always worth big granite rocks. One's actually a cairn. I did have a look on the map. Um, I'll, I'll do that later and then you can stick that bit in. Thank you for letting me do that, love. <laughs> you just do as you're told. It's a lucky man. Are we here? There it is. Is that it there? Looks like it. Yeah. Gosh, my toes are like ice. <sighs> Don't know if I want to cycle with these boots on. It's bothering you, are they? It's just when my circulation's been shut off in my foot and my toes are going to fall off. Hard to walk on these stones, aren't they? Yeah. I'm always aware of slipping as well. Ah, oh, I like that stone. Yeah, one could have just left the car there. Private, keep out. Dick. What? Me, a dick. Oh. See the little uh, hole here for the sheep to go through. Is it? Yeah. I thought it was for you. Get lost, cheeky bitch. What they do is they cat put cattle and sheep in here. The cattle are going to go through, but the sheep can go next door. Uh, so <laughs> See the big uh, thing on top of the post there? Yeah, it says your marker. Oh, I don't know if I have been here, you know. I do remember seeing something. You probably wouldn't come in there when it says private. No, I wouldn't have done, no, because I wouldn't have seen this. There is something around here I've seen. Maybe it's up there. <sighs> so, we're nearly on the first little ruin. It's called Adwalg, we think, or Adwal. Although the sun may be out, it's bloody cold. Isn't it, my love? Mm. Said it is private property, folks. Don't go tramping through it. We've had permission. No, I've definitely not been here. There's something that I've seen around here, though. Hey, is that something up there as well? Yeah, there's another one up there. Ah, oh, do you know what? I've seen this from the other side of the road. <coughs> well, there's your odd wallet, my love. What do you think? I haven't been here before. Haven't you? No, definitely not. It's always nice to find somewhere we've not been to, isn't it? There is something around here that I vaguely remember looking at, but it's definitely not this. And it wasn't much of it, so it's probably all gone now. Well, anyway, this is odd wallet. It was um, auctioned several times, late 1890s to 1910 or something. 1908, I think. It's, uh, 60 acres or 58 acres, wasn't it? Good yeah. arable land, it said. Without buildings. What else? Out offices, a dwelling, and then your threshing mill, which isn't in the original place there. Hmm. Mm. So look at the house. This must be the house, is it? It is. And there's a little cupboard here. I've already been through a nose. Not like you, my love. <laughs> there's your chillig. Cholig. 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 Ah, it is too. Still intact. It's like this ten years ago when I was here. It's the last time I was here. Uh. 
little place there to keep yourself or your sugar dry. And um, she must be a warm little house because there's a an oven and a fire at both ends, isn't there really? About the same size as those little houses down at Craigniche, this, isn't it? Yeah, this one had another floor. You can just see by the yeah. walls above your head or the holes in the wall. So hmm. has a bit come off the top. Cupboard on the side, the shelves in there where Carl is peeking peek now. Nice cupboards. The old fireplace, which could have come from Gelling's foundry. Hmm. I don't think so, no. Well, there's a little hole in the wall. <laughs> It's strange to see. Oh no, it's over there. Look, it's right behind you. It's strange to see that's so red, isn't it? That wall. Yeah. Or orange, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I think, if I remember rightly, this would be the thrashing thing was up here. Well, here's the thrashing barn. All <coughs> huh. ah, right, so it's it, someone has moved it. Yeah, you can see it right there. And that's the original uh, main wheel. But the other wheel's been moved, hasn't it, for some reason? Yeah. So there's the main wheel. There would be a cog on top of that or below it to power the um, workings of it. All right, so this would have been, this cog here would have been attached to the top of that big wheel I've just showed you. Yeah, amazing. Still here. Doesn't say. This was the last been used in 1900. That's 120 odd years ago. And uh, underneath the ground here would have been an axle going out to the uh, where the horses were tethered. And they'd walk around this for days and days and days. Still see some of the gearing in there. As always, you couldn't move these, so when you left the farm, you left these with it. Didn't they take something with them? You should take the, whole, the pole that the horse around mm. was attached to. That was the way of saying, I've got a horse mill. Little window there. It would have been upstairs wind to one of the rooms upstairs. Top stones, quite a lot of them fell now and gone. <coughs> no, it's not a road, it's more of one of the outbuildings. I'm guessing they tied up the animals in here then. Yeah, I There's one of your thingies on the wall there. This. Oh yeah, wonderful tying it up. <laughs> Go and have a look inside that one then. Hmm. Now into the buyer. Post here for the door. Painted with lead paint as they did. That's an unusual one, that. It's not attached there, is it? No. Mm. Don't think that's meant to be there, look. No, I don't think it is either. There's the doorway in Laxey. I had to stand there on a cold winter's morning with the, your breath just escaping your body, looking out on the world, thinking, hmm, what will I do today? What will the CB here, Carla? What? I don't know. 
know, out offices. Yeah. Oh, this, yeah. Oh, the garden. Yeah. And there are plenty of pega trees there. Plenty of pega trees here. Mm, plenty of sun. For those who don't know what a pega tree is, it's a name Carl has given these little thorn trees. We're going up there as well. Yep. Today. Yeah. We use these for their washing, pots and pans to dry. They made a function. There's nothing, no luxuries in this world. So whereabouts are these thingies? Is it just over there? What's that? These chimneys, the mines. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go up to there. I want to see what's over there. Nosy bag features here. <laughs> Must be just, if I could see it just over that thing there, that'd be nice. <coughs> would there be a well? There would have been somewhere, wouldn't it? Yeah, I wonder what that is there. Don't know. <laughs> Not a well. <laughs> Nothing. Just a wall. Just a wall, she says. Just a wall. We're now going to walk up to one a little bit further up. Hey, you. I thought we were going over there. I can see the chimneys now, I think. We'll be catching from up there, then. Oh, right. Do what you're bloody told. <laughs> So this would have been the road to this other little ruin which would have been incorporated with this place at one time. Don't have a name for this one unfortunately. So we're heading up to the hills because we spot another little room just near horizon. Hardy folks, these Glenroy lads. What? I'm just saying they were hardy folks, these Glenroy men. That must have been part of the mines then, was it? I don't know where you're looking so. Right. Oh, I can see them! Oh. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. I want to go there. Stop it. It's like last night now. <laughs> wow, I've never been down there. You know, you take a girl out for a flashy meal, buy her presents, forget it. Show this girl some old crappy stonework. He's excited. As am I, to be fair. We don't have a name for this little ruin. <coughs> hey, there's the one that didn't make it. Good place to be a lot for our sandwiches, I think. Yeah. Oh. Not stopping for too long. I'll get cold. Which book did I have these in, do you know? What? Which volume was it? Uh, two, I think. I think it is volume two, you're right. This one's a lot older than the other one.
Yeah, these are much older than the other ruins we've just come to. You can just see the end of a, uh, what would be a, a thatching stone stuck out of the side of the wall there. So these ones are thatched, single roomed or single floored. Door there, way, it's been stoned up. Oh, little stone wall, preventing you from the worst wind. <coughs> and as usual, a little thorn tree hanging on for life. You can just see right in the distance there the uh, the pillars for the old mine walking, so the Glenroy Mines, which is a complete flop apparently. So I said those are the pillars for the uh, viaduct or whatever they were carrying across, probably through some water to somewhere. We have to go with that one sometime. What do you think, my love? I'm just wondering how we get over there. There's a path there that leads onto the Glenroy Road. So I guess we go down that way and there's another little path. That's not today though. No, I think we'll do that another day. Yeah. There's a full um, video on that place really of his own. Yeah, I'm amazed at because that little building there is quite intact. Yeah, well, they're quite weatherproof down there, aren't they? Yeah, I can't wait to see that. We have our sandwiches and our drink. Yeah. Somewhere. Well, what do you think of this little spot there, my girl? Nice. I'm more excited about the mines that I've seen down there. You're never satisfied, are you? No, as Angie says at work, I'll give you 9 out of 10 for that, because there's always room for improvement. My teacher used to say that. <laughs> I think it's a good saying. Uh, we'll never get to the top, do we? No. The hardy souls, these men, though, when you think about it, this is a really old one. I know the one below us is fairly up to date in <laughs> century terms. <coughs> As you said, it was auctioned several times in 1895 and 1908. And um, a 60 acre farm, apparently, of, in good heart with its own thrashing system, house, and outbuildings. Or out offices. We reckon that the building or the house had an upper, fl upper floor too, I think. Mm. I don't think these were um, houses to live in, do you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. They just look like nothing. Yeah, but they'd be a hundred years older than that. All oh, right. Mm. Huh. It's funny how they like we look around here, they've built a wall at the back and they built the um, house down below that for shelter basically. Mm. Oh, dead like. We think this place is Ardwallig or Ardwillig depending on your point of view but it may not be. There was a name on the old, um, what year is that map? Is it 1900? 1860 something like that. 1864 maybe. There is a name but I'll have to stick that in. I have around here back then. I yeah, took some photographs, I think it's in volume two for my books and um, we'll stick some photographs with the video because it was a nicer day than today although today is quite pleasant my love it's lovely it's not a drop of wind it's nice no not even from you <laughs> compared to the way it's been i was gonna say and it's been the wettest january i remember every day's rained not oh. that you're a moaner i never moan you know that <clears throat> And we've got our hot chocolate to warm us up. Definitely That's worth bringing a flask, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. <coughs> we've got our sandwiches for our lunch. Come here, Penny. Come. And Roxy. The dogs are with us, as usual. <coughs> Collecting sticks. There's no sheep or cattle in here today, which is a blessing. We have had permission to go on this particular property, so don't 
assume everybody can because it is private. It does say on the gate, private It does found. indeed. And it also says on the main road over that way, which is the um, Craignabar back road. Yeah. I thought there might have been a well somewhere. There would have been. They wouldn't have built this <coughs> out water up here. Even this place will have had some sort of water supply somewhere. I know. And down below us, or behind us, is Glenroy Mines, which we'll do another day, as we said. Well. Shall we mosey on? Yeah, get on with the rest of our day. I'll carry that. You carry that, love. I got my hands full with you. Hmm. Whatever. I'll carry this as well. Can you carry that camera for me too and give me a break? No. Yeah, that fun? Yeah. I've got some nice gloves to wear as well. Do you want them? I like your new scarf. Nice big oversized scarf nice to scarf. go with my oversized coat. It's not really tight enough, is it? <laughs> it's long enough. You could sip over that. It's all right. If you didn't cry wolf and send people on goose chases all the time, they would do things for you Don't immediately. give me this shit. When have I ever sent you on a goose chase? Uh, remember when you made me hold a switch? That wasn't a goose chase. It didn't have to go anywhere, did you? No, I held this switch. Anyway, about that switch. Hang on. OK, for, tell us about the switch then, Carla. Ray had bought a new switch to go with his wind turbine thing. And we were in shop, right? And then he goes, will you just hold this for me? And he does this, but I thought, OK, I'll hold it, even though I was holding everything else. So I put my shop and all on the side, and then I'm holding this switch, and I'm going... Tick, 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 and he's keeping his face straight quite well, actually. And then I realised, well, hang on a minute, how am I going to pack all my shopping now that I'm holding this stupid switch? And I was like, yeah, you hold it. And then he just fell about laughing, like it's the most funniest thing in the world. He's still laughing now. I nearly wet myself. I did think you were going to start crying and laughing and getting hysterical. It I was, was like, calm it down. Was, it was funny. It wasn't that funny. Right. On you go. Onwards and upwards. We don't normally do a video on the way back to the car, but today the, the vista of this place is stunning. Come on. And uh, the sun is out and shining on the ground. It's just a shame not to add it to the video today. So now I'm going to walk back. <sighs> so then that's what you get. Ladies and gentlemen, for sending people on a wild goose chase. They don't do anything for you anymore, do they? Did I tell you about the daffodils in the house? Yes. Go on, tell the folks the story about that then. Something to do with the goslings. Well, tell, tell the whole story. Oh, I can't remember. I don't listen to oh, you most of the time. Oh, for goodness sake. They don't bring the daffodils in the house, otherwise the goslings won't have any babies. That's not it. <laughs> Give me. Bloody strength. Come on then, tell me again. Look, here's an old wives' tale I was told by John Kenyon, and apparently some people think it could be true, that uh, in the old days on a farm you had a flock of geese. Now the geese was the meat for the year. Didn't have fridges and freezers those days, so they'd have a flock of 20 or 30 geese, and there'd be a goose killed every week, and that would be a meat for the house. Feather duster, Goose fat, nothing would be wasted. The tenons would be used like, uh, like string. No. So as you can imagine, a goose was valuable. And what they used to do, and the farmers used to do, when the goose laid the eggs, they'd fetch the eggs in the house with the goose to hatch. And that's what they did. But they never brought daffodils in because when the stupid goose saw the daffodils, she thought the goslings had hatched. So she'd get off the nest and leave it, expecting the daffodils to follow her. So that's why farmers never brought daffodils in the house. Yeah, that's similar to what I said. It's nothing like what you said. I knew what I meant. I can't, you can't get girlfriends like you used to. And this one didn't come with a receipt either. No, I can't take this one back.
So we're wending our way back to the car. As I said, we've had our snack. There's a school there. Oh, bloody hell. Just got the, uh, my last information from the publisher. All my books are now out in the book shops. There are none left at the wholesaler. But whatever's there is there. And at this moment in time, I don't intend to plan to uh, publish any more or print any more volumes. Six and a half thousand books, all gone. It's quite amazing, really. Such an interest has been in that, in that world that we're in. You're not going back to you when you're going your own way, are you? What? <laughs> you call me a wanderer. Yeah, I know that song. Oh, yeah. Sad death this morning, one of my sheep died. I explained to Carla about my sheep dying. She said, what did they die of? What did they die of, Carla? Oh, stagnant something or other, did you say? I said it died of stagnation off the lung. That's it. And her answer to me was, well, how did I know that? <laughs> I said, because it stopped breathing. <laughs> you take take advantage of my... Um, Oh, what do you call it? Stupidity. I wasn't going to call it that. <laughs> There's another word. Naivety. Na naivety, that's the one. I was going to say innocence, but... You're long past that, girl. Yes, naivety. So the uh, farm and government and the infant wisdom to provide a service where they collect the dead sheep. And take them to incinerate and I don't obey them anymore, apparently. <laughs> Which reminds me, when I was young, uh, 50 years ago, my dad had a flock of 150 sheep. And uh, every year, the wool and the sheep was worth the rent of the farm. So we had to clip the sheep, obviously, to pay for the rent. These days, it costs more to shear a sheep than you, the wool's worth, which is absolutely crazy. Anyway, what used to happen, uh, Roxy. if there's Look. a dead sheep, I'd have to go and clip it before I could bury it. And I tell you what, there are some sickening jobs in the world to do, but clipping a dead sheep that's pretty rank is possibly close to the worst. Yeah, they're the ones I've seen from the roadside. So well, just over that hill is Salu Quain. Oh, right. You have no idea what I'm talking about, have you? Nope. Salu Quain. Salu Quain. No. Yeah, we'll do a video on that one sometime. Walking through the, the farmyard, past the mill house on the left, the mill, mill barn and then the house. How many feet will have trodden this path over the years? We picked our day to come up here. Folks lived here, didn't have that joy. Still looking for your well. Yeah, how'd you guess? <coughs> well, well. I'm convinced there should be one here somewhere. I don't know where. In though. my thoughts, I reckon we'd be here somewhere. Well, that's why I went to that bit, because it's a bit... Just here, where the rushes yes, are. Yeah. They've built a little wall around the back of, of there. There's been yeah, some sort of possibly. building here. It's close to the house. Yeah. Right, we're going home now. or going somewhere else, I suppose. And see you all again, folks. Keep healthy, as they say. Keep healthy.
So what do you think of it so far, my love? She's had her eyes tested a few days ago, folks. So this may be the last day we're together. Yeah, gosh. Once she gets her glasses. I wonder if I can wear them in bed as well. That'll be the end of me. Can I wake up in the night, turn around and go, whoa, shit, what's that? You do that anyway. As I said, the other name for this little place was the Rocky Road. Or one of his other names. <sighs> definitely that, definitely that. There we are, off, back to the car now. Hello, Carl, I have some other lovely ideas for spending the afternoon doing something. 